Hey guys, if you like my videos, click on subscribe and give me a like. And don't forget the bell so you can get notified of new ones. Hey guys, how's it going? Dale here. Today I have an HP 15.6 inch laptop. It has a Pentium processor in it. It's a N3540 model. Um, this unit has four gigabytes of RAM and a regular hard drive in it. It's a little on the slow side, so we're going to, or I'm going to open it up, show you how to do that and take out the hard drive. I'm gonna put a new solid state drive in it. Then I'm gonna do a clean install of Windows 10. I won't show you the Windows 10 install. That's pretty straightforward. Just boot up a USB flash drive using the media creation tool. You can make one of those drives. Um, but this, this, this one doesn't give you a whole lot of capability to upgrade the RAM. It only has one RAM slot and you could replace the four with an eight. But in this case, we're just gonna do the solid state drive. So we gotta remove the keyboard on this first. After you take out this screw right here that holds the keyboard in, then you're gonna wanna remove this cover here from the RAM to get access to the one slot here because there's three screws in underneath this. There's one here, one over here, and one down over here. So you take out those screws, and I've already taken out all the other screws on the bottom, and they're all the same length. Um, once you take out this screw right here, you can slide the optical drive out, and of course we're gonna remove the battery. And then I'm gonna flip it back over, I'm going to lift off the palm rest to get to the hard drive. So we'll get started. All right, guys, so I'm going to take my little paper clip here. We got to eject this CD so I can slide the tray out. There's a little tiny hole right here, just a regular old paper clip. You can do that and it comes right out. There's some screws under here. So we're going to jiggle that out. And take my. There's three little screws right here, and they got really tiny Phillips heads on them, so you got to be careful because you can strip them pretty good if you're not careful. So I'm going to, hopefully these ones come out easy. Sometimes they're pressed in, they're really, really hard from the factory or screwed in, and they don't come out. I've even had to drill them out in the past. You can see they don't come out super easy, but you have to take them off or out. So we got those out, of course we're going to release the battery here, unlock it. Oop, the other way. No screws under here, no screws under here. Got all the main screws out, so now I'm going to turn it over and we got to remove the keyboard. Now this is where it's got to be careful because you can easily, easily leave tool marks along here, but this is super thin. It is metal, but I've done this enough where I kind of know what I'm doing. But there's little tabs, if you look in there really close, there's little tabs. You have to push in back and flip it up. So I'm going to start right, right here. Get it started. It usually comes up without too much trouble. Don't force it. Just got to kind of know where the tabs are, and that's it. So I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to release the little lever here. so I can see. These are not always easy. I just wanted to get situated here. These things are very... You gotta be really careful how you flip that up. But it does come. There, I got it. This little lever, you gotta just be really careful. Don't use a metal tool in there, folks. And slide the cable out, get that out of the way. So there's a few screws under here I gotta take out because we're gonna lift this palm rest up. Before I do that, I'm gonna disconnect the touch pad right here. Another little lever, these are pretty easy. There's one there. This is your power switch. Put that up. Get these disconnected. Just like that. <clears throat> So we're going to take out these few screws under here. Now these screws are real short, so make sure you put them back in the right spot. Don't want to put a long screw in a short hole. Not good. And one more over here. Done this 
a million times, but usually end up forgetting the screw. I thought there was five. Uh, I think we're good. So, I'm going to get my little spudger. Little plastic tool. Again, you don't want to leave tool marks on the paint job here, so we're going to release it along the front here first, is what I found to be the easiest. Just like that. Don't go in too far because you got speakers and wires and whatnot in there. <clears throat> to get it started, just don't want to pry too hard. Some of these come off pretty easy, some not so easy. You just got to be patient, kind of work it. These back corners sometimes are a little tricky. There we go. So there, there's our palm rest out of the way. And of course, here's our hard drive that we have to get out of there. Oop, don't want that too hard. So we're going to get the hard drive out of here. I'm going to release this cable right here. Put the lever up like that carefully. Disconnect it and this thing can just kind of lay out of the way here like that. And, I, oop, my bad. We have to take out this little I.O. board here on these because this hard drive caddy here goes underneath this thing. So let's take out this one screw right here. It usually comes out pretty easy like that. Lift it up. We're going to disconnect the SATA cable here from the hard drive. And I got my new solid state drive here. All right, got my solid state drive. I'm going to take it, the old hard drive out of this little cheesy little caddy they got here. Put the new drive back in the same way, of course. There's no data on this hard drive they care about, so like I said, we're gonna do, a, I'm gonna do a fresh install, Windows 10 1909 edition. Put it in a solid state, make it a whole lot faster. Put those in too tight, just enough to hold it. This HP laptop exact model is 15 1272 WM, by the way. I'll put it on the screen there for you. There's so many different variations and models of these HPs like this. Alright, so let's get this back over here. Going to reattach our SATA cable carefully because this goes underneath the motherboard here, so you don't want to be jerking on that. So, on these, you got to slide the front little rubber tabs in first underneath these little notches they got here, like that, and push it back down in. Make sure these go down all the way, so you never do. I'm going to cheat. There. That way our I.O. board sits in there nice and flat. So we're going to carefully tuck that back in there. Don't manhandle it too hard because you don't want to break the cable, then you're all done. Screw back in. Make sure you all subscribe to my channel. I'd appreciate it. I hook the cable back up here. Make sure it goes all the way in and flip it down. And that little line, make sure the line is right flush 
that little line on these, these all have lines, just make sure it's in all the way, just like that. So that's that. Make sure everything's good, which it is. Got the solid state drive in. Now we're going to put our palm rest back. Set it in place. Snap these back corners in. Just kind of work it around. Let's see, you gotta snap it in. Thank you, cameraman. Alright. Put my screws back in where I put the keyboard in. I'm used to using the power drill, so probably should use a hand screwdriver. You don't want to torque these in too tight and break something. I just do this all day every day and I gotta move kind of quick and go on to the next one. One more screw. Right here. Alright, so I'm gonna reconnect the power switch cable and the touchpad now. I'll be patient putting these back in, but again, don't use a metal tool. Use your fingers if you can. There, it kind of just falls back into place. Up to the line, good. Nothing worse than getting these all back together and you forgot to hook up a cable or didn't have it in all the way. I think that one needs to go a little further. That looks good. So, now we're going to reattach the keyboard. Gotta put it in right side up, right? Flip this around. These are a little tricky sometimes. You get to go back in. They're tight. There. Flip that lever down. Use two fingers on both ends. Make sure it goes down all the way. If you just push in the middle, it's not gonna go. I think we're good there. Front edge first. Just snap in a couple of them here. Pull it in place for now. Worry about that later. Reattach my battery. These things are so tiny. Just a few turns and they go right in. <clears throat> of course, I got a magnetic screwdriver. You might want to consider that before you start this project. Gonna slide our optical drive back in here. Obviously, it only goes in one way. Like that, put that screw in to hold that in. So, I'm gonna put all the screws back in, cover up the, this area here. And like I said, don't forget there's three screws underneath this cover here you don't wanna forget to put back in. And then I'm gonna boot off my Last drive I made with my media creation tool, put a fresh install of Windows 10, and we'll be good to go. So I thanks uh, for watching. I appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe, give me a like, and share this video. Have a great day.